Oh man. Yeah. That's that's a good one. <laughs> that, yeah, that is a good fighter, guys. Woo wee. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> man. Alright, let me get this hook out from you. Wow. Look at that. That's a that's a dandy. Man, guys, this thing is 15 and three quarters. Well, hey guys, we're back on the Cash River and we're gonna go out to some crappie today. We're gonna see if we can catch some good ones. We're gonna be using a Johnson Beetle Spin and a Live Minnow. It's gonna be a big profile, but that's what I wanna use to try to catch them big crappie. Let's see what we can do, guys. Guys, I realized I was using the wrong color in here. I forgot they like black in here, so I got me a little light pink head on this. It's a 132nd jig head and that's a size number four hook on there. I got a live minnow and that's a black Bobby Garland jig, baby shad, two inch. There he goes. Oh man, I missed him. Let's try him again that quick. There he is. We got that. Oh yeah. Pretty nice crappie. I think we can get him in. <laughs> oh yeah, we found what you want. You wanted that black jig, didn't you? Man, he slapped my camera. I gotta wipe it off. Hang on, guys. There we go. He did it again. Slapping my camera. <laughs> Alright. That's a good crappie. He's sitting up there almost 12 inches. We'll take him. And we're kind of waiting in this area for stuff to come through here is what I'm thinking. There he is. I gotta turn this trolling motor off. What we got there? What we got there? Oh, that's a big old bluegill. Holy cow. He's a big one. <laughs> He jumped on the old beetle spin. Man. That's a good one. <laughs> we'll have to see how long. Ouch. See how long he is just for the heck of it. Eight and a half. He's a good one. We'll be able to take him. It must be a bass. No, that's another brim. Man, these old brim are tearing this old be beetle spin. No, that's a crappie. I thought that was another brim. That's a crappie. <laughs> he jumped on it and was aggressive like a brim. Let's see where his length is there. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a, a little over 10 and a half. We'll take him, black crappie. There he is. I know the crappie. I can get him in. Yeah. Yeah, I may not need the net, but I'm still gonna net him just under him, just in case. Yeah. I didn't really need the net, but sometimes it's better to be safe. <laughs> oh we another black crappie. Mm-hmm. Give him a little measurement. He's 11. 11 incher. Nice and thick. We'll take him. Guys, when I hook these minnows on here, you see that round spot on his head? I like to go right at the front of that round spot right there, just behind his eyes. If you hook him like that, he'll, he'll stay on that uh, beetle spin really good. And you can cast several times, and you usually don't lose that minnow unless you get a bite. So that's how I like to hook them. I'm going to try these right here. 
What I like about this spot right here, guys, there's, oh, there he is. Oh, there's a couple lakes behind me. Oh, that's a little bass. There's a couple lakes behind me and this gets closed in right here and you just got these trees and then these two big openings here and then little openings there. It's like a little gateway. So these are little fish and look how fat that little bass is. Different from that other lake. That that bass is fat and he's tiny but look how fat. <laughs> Healthy. Later. But what I was going to say is this little gateway and these fish they hide around these trees and stuff and debris that's under the water they know that bait fish and smaller fish are going to come in and out going back and forth to these lakes so they get in here and they ambush them in these little gateways that's a good little thing to remember if, if you have a system that's kind of set up like this There he is. There we go. What we got this time? Oh yeah, that's a good crappie. Get my net. <laughs> there we go. We're looking for him. Ah, that's a good black crappie right there. We was looking for you. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty one. Pretty black crappie. Now that I got like five spikes up here and, and the one, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, excuse me, seven spikes on the top. And the white crop has got five. So let's see how long he is. 13 inches. 13 inches. He's a pretty one. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what we're talking about. We will take him. Well guys, this is the lure we're using to catch these crappie with today. It's a uh, little beetle spin that I took and put the gold blade on there. I put me a t uh, size number two willow leaf gold blade on there. Got a 132nd jig head hook, painted pink, size four hook, a black Bobby Garland jig. I've been trying, uh, this is an electric chicken glow, and I've even tried the this one right here uh what do they call that thing the mayfly and they will only hit black in here i don't know what it is about this place i know they hit black in here that's why i got it on here because i've already did good last year on black so i knew to to keep that in my mind but yeah that's definitely what they wanting today right there well guys this day started out kind of slow and and i hadn't been in here in a while I, I didn't know what was gonna go happen you know i knew they wasn't biting i was trying different lures different colors i couldn't get nothing to hit but i always got it in the back of my mind when the fish ain't biting there's always a hungry fish that missed his meal and there's always that greedy fish that just is just got to have another one so there's always two fish in here that's gonna bite. <laughs> Out of all the fish, if you know the fish are in here and they just ain't biting, you know there's gotta be one that's hungry and he missed his meal. And then that one that just, he, he's full, his belly's stuffed, but he's greedy and he wants another one. Go after them two fish and keep it in your mind. I'm gonna catch them two fish. And you'll end up bumping across where the fish are at or, or a bunch of hungry ones <laughs> or a bunch of greedy ones. But if you just give up and, and think, oh, you ain't going to catch nothing just because they ain't biting, well, that's where you might mess up because they may just have a certain feeding time and stuff. So you got to pay attention to, you know, what, what the surroundings are. And, and when you catch, start catching fish, get your watch or your phone, look at the time and see what time they're biting. See what time that, the first fish you caught was. And then pay attention to the last fish or the last couple fish you caught. And then you might want to focus on that time the next day. And you won't waste that full day of fishing. Come out here about that time you knew they was hitting. And then, you know, you might catch a mess of fish real quick.
There he is. There, that's a pretty decent one. He barely made it in the boat. I don't know. He might not make the 10 inch. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a little over 10. We'll take him. Well, guys, this is the rod and reel we're using today. We got an Alba Garcia Max X10 spinning reel, light spinning reel, six pound test, Mr. Crappie high vis fishing line on there. And I got a Shakespeare micro series. This is a five foot six light action rod. And you can get these at Walmart for around 20 bucks with and then add a little tax to that. Or you can get online in under the description box. I have it in there, a link for this and I have a link for this. The reels are hard to find at Walmart. You might find them at Bass Pro or Academy Sports or some other sporting goods stores. But uh, that's the rod and reels I like to use, guys. And they do really good for crappie fishing the beetle spin. Definitely a good spot right here by this tree. Because I done caught a couple over that way. Let's see if he'll thump it. There he is. Oh, man. He was running with it and I pulled it out of his mouth but I didn't hook him I did not hook him so there's still a chance to maybe get him to bite it again I just definitely need to get away from him quit trying to gotta be quiet as I can there we go all right let's see what we got he done got my bait so there he still jumped on it <laughs> oh he's a little one he's just a hungry one all right let's see he's a little tiny dude a little black crappie he is a little over eight and a half but he's a pretty one let's see. when i get in here guys and i get on these crappie it's clear water that old Tupelo makes it look dark and stuff, but you can see pretty good in it. It's got a little dinge to it, not much. But you don't want to move around a whole lot, and you want to try to be quiet. So, the main thing you want to do is not run your trolling motor very little, if possible. You want to keep it down on the down low. Because everything spooks them. When it's, when it's nice and calm like this. It's windy out there, but it's calm up in here, and they know it, so they can see just about anything, and they pay attention to everything. So we just want to... I'll bump my trolling motor and turn it off if I have to, but I try not to even run it. Because the, the less noise sometimes makes a big difference when you're crappie fishing. Easy, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> He's a fighter. <laughs> Man, that's a thick one. Look at how thick he is. He got some backbone on him. <laughs> a nice black crappie. Man. They sure are pretty. We'll take him old beetle spin over there and sit here get one off that tree oh there he is oh yeah feels like a good oh that's a bass in it <laughs> i was gonna say i feel like a pretty good crappie he's a chunky bass you see there buddy oh okay man see these old bass in here they're healthy Fat, good grief. Very pretty bass. Later. Looking for another crappie.
There you go. See what we get. That feels like a crappie. Oh yeah. That's a crappie. There we go. Easy buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good one. Let's see how long he is. Oh yeah, he's 10. Pretty black crappie. We'll take him. Yeah, see if he's out there in the open spot right there. There he is. Oh yeah. Another pretty good one. Yeah. I might get him in. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Easy. <laughs> oh yeah. He's almost 12 inches. Almost a 12 incher. We'll take him. Go back in here and catch him. There he was. Alrighty. He was there. Give him another try here in just a second. If I can get the sun wrapped here. There we go. He definitely was there. I got storms creeping up on me. There he is. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh man. Come on, baby. He's not a giant, but he's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh man, he's solid. I gotta turn that trolling motor on and get me away from this spot. There we go. Yeah, look how thick he is. He's solid. And he's 12 inches, 12 inches long. All right, we're back in there. See if we can catch another one. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Now, he ain't as big as the last one, but he's he might be a keeper. We'll see. Oh, I don't know. He's close. And it's another white crappie. These things are just so dark. <laughs> They're so dark, guys. I can't hardly tell. But they got the lines on them. He's white. Later. <laughs> he wanted out of the boat. He's out of the boat. He said, I ain't got time for you to play with you. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty good spot right there. I don't want to kick it away from it. Hope we eat something. There he is. Oh, yeah. Another good one. <laughs> Hold up, I can get him in. Yeah, I get him in. Oh, easy there. Easy. <laughs> he just won't give up. <laughs> he will not give up. There we go. Another pretty one. Check. He's pushing on the scale here. He's a little over 11 and a half. Nice thick crappie. We'll take him. That was a big thump, a big thump. It was probably a little bit of crappie though. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've had them crappie hit it like you feel like it's a two or three pounder and it'd be a 10, 11 inch crappie. But yeah, that was a good one. And all I did, I cast it in there and let it sink, get down in his zone. So I'm fixing to get back in his zone again and give him another try. There he is. <laughs> I had another one. Man, they gonna keep biting like this. We might just, we might just have some fun here.
area. Started trolling and he jumped on. Oh man, that's a good one. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Trolling motor wouldn't quit moving. Man, these things. This thing is heavy. That's a solid crappie. <laughs> There we go. Let's see where he's at. Yeah, he's almost 13. About 12 and 3 quarter. Another fine crappie. Nice thick one. We'll take him. Alright, we're gonna try another one. I, my one pole was snagged. I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm gonna try to catch another one. Cause I don't want to go in there and disturb it. You go in there and disturb it when you're catching fish like that. There he is. You're catching fish like this. You don't want to get that thing on. You don't want to disturb them. Oh yeah, that's another good one. <laughs> Ooh, he got a battle scar on his face. But he's still. Uh, he's a pretty good crappie. Let's see what this side. Oh yeah, he's a pretty one. He's sitting there at 11 inches. Well, I'm gonna let him heal up. I don't like to, I don't like to really keep crappie that's beat up. His body is perfect, but I'm gonna let him heal up anyhow. We'll catch you later. <laughs> now that's one reason I could have went in there and got this unsnagged. But if I would have went in there and got that unsnagged, I wouldn't have got that fish. I mean, look at this. Doing that, taking my time, getting another pole ready and doing that, this come loose anyhow. <laughs> so I'm back in business anyhow. That I didn't even have to go in there and unsnag it. So things worked out. And we keep on fishing. What happened is that min is missing. Apparently a fish got on there and unsnagged it. That, that tells me there's another one in there. What that tells me. Let's see if we can get him. Oh yeah, them old buffalo gnats are still out, but the dragonflies are eating on them. That's helping. I didn't think anything could, could take out them buffalo gnats, but the dragonflies love them. <laughs> so that's a good thing. I knew dragonflies eat mosquitoes. I wasn't thinking about the gnats, but yeah, they, they'll tear them up. All right, we're going to see if we can catch another crappie in here. I think a fish got me unhung. So I'm gonna get back in there where I think he, where I was hung and try not to get hung up again. And maybe that fish, oh man, he, he jumped right on it. I think fish did get, get me unhung. <laughs> man, that's a good fighter. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, that is a good fighter, guys. Woo-wee. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Man. All right. Let me get this hook out from me. Wow. Look at that. That's a, that's a dandy. Man, guys, this thing is 15 and 3 quarters. 15 and 3 quarters. He's a long crappie. Woo-wee. That's a beauty. <laughs> that is a beauty right there. We got the scales right here. We're going to give them a little weigh. They get that big, they're worth weighing. Uh, let's see what we got there. Looks like 151, 150. Well, there it is. 157. 157, guys. Man. That's a beauty. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't caught a long crappie like that in a while. 15, 15 and three quarters. 
That's a good one. We'll take you. Well, guys, I wanted you to check out my net. And you guys have been seeing me scoop up these crappie with it. I love this net. It's a Placino. And, uh, you know, it breaks down and stuff. But what I love about this net, it has a solid... I think that's aluminum beam going across here. Probably aluminum so because it's in the water all the time. And then it's got this floating device that comes around there. And it's got a coated net. But check this out. You're not going to lose that net. I've lost so many nets, kids poking them in the water and let go and they just sink to the bottom and you never see them again. But not this one. This is a very, what I also like about it, look at the mouth on it. You can scoop up a big fish, but it's still, it's only like a meter long or a yard long. So anyway, I got links to this net down there. You can look up and uh, if you go to their website, you can type in the uh, code fish anchor and get 10% discount on anything in their store. I may about done caught them all, guys. Just about. I doubt it. Hey, probably some more. There he is right there. Another good one. Oh, man, come on. Uh, he's not big giant like that other one, but he's a good fighter. <laughs> That's another good crappie though. <laughs> oh, easy there, guy. Man, these guys are strong. Strong fighters. Oh yeah, another pretty one. Let's see what we got there. He's a little bit over 12. Another pretty crappie. We'll take him. But yeah, guys. This really looks like a big old bait for a crappie, but it's not. I want to tell you. Uh, well, you guys know. You guys have seen me catch crappie. One of them was under 10. But it will also catch some big ones, guys. You've seen me catch them over 15 with the same lure. So, these old beetle spins are pretty active uh especially when you put all that live minnow on there and find the right color they want man it just they work good i'm a believer in them 